Greetings, welcome to another hour of the Stuart Smalley Show. No, that wait, that's later. Welcome to Alamo Music Center's YouTube page where we get to play really cool guitars and get paid for it. I'm Chris McKee, your host for today. We're Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas, online at alamomusic.com. Today we are reviewing for you a brand new Taylor 914 CE First Edition. Before we get to that, I want to remind you to subscribe to our videos here on YouTube where you can see all of the coolest stuff that we get in, that we review just for you, so that you can slobber all over your computer and think of ways to drain your child's college fund in order to buy these wonderful guitars. It's our service to you. So what do we have here today? This is Taylor's newest take on the 900 series. The 914 CE is kind of a storied model in the Taylor lineup. There's been some very famous people who've played them before. It's long been held up as just this great Rosewood Lovers guitar. Um, it's special to me because I have an old one. I have one from 2000. It's kind of weird to say that's old, but that's a 15-year-old guitar at this point. Um, so I have one of the ones with the Cindy inlay um, before the NT neck and, and all of that stuff. And it's a wonderful guitar after 15 years of playing it and opening up. Uh, it's pretty amazing, and um, my kids will get it someday, so no offers, please. But um, Taylor has revamped the lineup, and what they've done is they've taken this great potion that Andy Powers has whipped up there at Taylor in San, uh, well, El Cajon, San Diego, and they've applied it to this series. So let's review some of those changes that first came on the 800 series and, and what they are doing on the 900 series. First thing is we have new bracing pattern. It's the performance bracing, as it's been called, um, that is on the top. This changes a little bit per series. So the 600 series, for instance, is different bracing on the back and sides than the 900 or the 800 series does. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. The bracing changes for the series. Wood thicknesses vary based upon body size. Um, it's got a very thin 3.5 millimeter finish. Uh, so it's about the thickness of a sheet of paper hide glue construction. Um, this has the new ES2 pickup and new aesthetics. So the first things that you'll notice, the Cindy inlay is gone and replaced with what is called the Ascension inlay, which is really a, a nice take on, on kind of the, the Fleur de Lis. Um, beautiful uh, cross T style uh, inlay up on the headstock. Ebony binding, Goto 510 tuners, which are the best tuners period. Um, beautiful abalone, koa, ebony, rosette, and purfling along the top. So it's this nice layered uh, treatment of abalone and koa and ebony that really just pops. It's it's a gorgeous thing that they've done. And they take that koa and they uh, go with that purfling all the way up the neck and around the headstock too. Just really framing out the guitar. Back and sides have it as well next to that ebony. So you've got this this layering uh, on the back and sides of ebony, a little strip of koa, and then the rosewood. And it's it's really just beautiful. It's, it's a really tastefully done guitar. It, is it kind of a fancy guitar? It is for sure. But I think it, it holds its place where it's not gaudy. That's my opinion. Maybe you disagree with me. And in that case, you're wrong, but it's okay. We can move on from there. All right. Uh, let me show you the back of this. So on the back of the headstock, they're doing a wonderful back strap of ebony. And then the back and sides, of course, are rosewood. So it's Sitka spruce top. It's rosewood back and sides, 900 grade. So if you have already figured out what that means, Taylor goes through and they grade their woods in the factory. For the tops, the tighter the grain, the straighter the grain, medullary lines, things like that, that are telltale signs that it's a really nice piece of spruce, that gets moved up in the series. Same with the rosewood. We're looking for straight, tight grain and wonderful responsiveness. And so this has a higher grade of tone woods than the 800 series would. There's one thing that you might have noticed as I've been moving this guitar around, and that's this thing right here. Um, this is an armrest bevel that Taylor started doing a few years ago on their presentation series. It's also been offered in their build to order or custom program. This is the first time it's been offered outside of that. And 
really a, a quite a value. So in the latest issue of Wood and Steel, if you pick up a copy or go to Taylor's website and download the PDF of it, you'll read about what it takes to put this armrest in. Um, now this isn't unique to Taylor, there's other small shop luthiers that have armrest options on their guitars. Um, Laskin, uh, a uh, wonderful luthier, uh, is the first, as far as I know, person to really put that on the acoustic guitar. And what he found and, and what I found is what Leo Fender found years ago when he designed the Stratocaster. It's really comfy. Okay? And that's why from the telly, which is a slab of wood to a Strat, he put that bevel there. It's really fantastically comfortable. Um, it also keeps your arm off the top of the guitar. So it has a practical purpose in comfort and in helping the guitar to resonate more acoustically. Win-win. It's usually a very expensive option, okay? So it's kind of a big deal that it's on the 900 series. Um, in the Wooden Seal, Taylor details how this is done. And it, there's, no, there's no computer machining for this. This is not an automated process. It has to be done by hand, and there's a very small uh, percentage of people, just a small number in the factory, that have the experience to do this. And so, you know, when you're getting this, this, this is just a wonderful piece of craftsmanship that's put into a very, very special guitar. And it's a great value. And I, I keep saying that, but I want to kind of stress the point. This is an expensive guitar. I get that. But if you go to custom shop to get that armrest, like, like I did last year, or you order, uh, get a presentation series guitar, that is magnitudes more expensive than what this 914 CE costs. And so they've raised the price on this from what it was last year, but by a very small margin. I mean, just a small percentage overall, especially compared with what you get. Let's have a little conversation. I'm an enabler, okay? I get this is an expensive guitar. Not everybody can afford this guitar. But be glad you don't play cello, okay? We have an awesome opportunity as guitar players to own some amazing instruments at a fraction of what other experienced and professional musicians pay for their things. I think Chris Isaac did an article in a guitar magazine about this recently. We are blessed that really for probably a little bit more than you spent on your last MacBook Pro, you can get a fantastic heirloom quality guitar that will last you your lifetime. I bought my 914C 15 years ago and I've cherished, cherished it for 15 years. So. Don't let price get in the way of fulfillment. If you can afford this guitar, you should get this guitar. If you can't afford that guitar, Taylor makes others. That's the wonderful thing. But this is really, really special. And um, I, I invite you guys. This is a first edition. We have two left. They have Adirondack bracing. They're all labeled first edition. And once these are gone, they're gone. So if you want to come down and try them out, I would invite you to do so. It's a really, it's a special treat to play one of these guitars. So let's hear what it sounds like, and I'd like to hear in, your, in the comments below what you think of the guitar, the appointments, um, and if you've had a chance to play one, how you think they sound. 